how to swap crypto in Coinbase wallet. We can get to the swap feature via the icon at the top. So I'll click that. And then from here, there's two things we need to know. The first one is you can only swap cryptos that are on the same blockchain. You cannot swap cross chain. So you can't swap from Ethereum to base or base to Polygon. It's just not going to work. The second thing is whichever blockchain that we're on and whichever assets that we're using, we're always going to need some of the gas coin for that network in order to pay for the transaction fee. So up at the top, it says on BNB. I'm going to click that. Here we can see a list of the blockchains that we have assets on and that are supported in the swap feature. So we can choose the blockchain that we want to use. And that's the first thing. If you have some of the gas coin already, you can use that to pay for gas. And you can also use it as value to swap for something else. So I'll choose uh, you know, any chain here, BNB Smart Chain. So how do we get the gas coin into our wallet so that we can pay for swaps? You need to know which network that you're using firstly. So recognize that, then press receive, then copy the address of that network. So I'm just copying my Ethereum address here. Go over to your centralized exchange or wherever you buy uh, crypto. I've got some ETH here, so I'm gonna withdraw that. Send via crypto network. I'm gonna paste in my address to my wallet. And then really important is to make sure that you withdraw the gas coin on the network that you want to swap on. So if you've got assets like stable coins on Arbitrum or Base or Optimism, that's where you need to receive that gas coin. So you can see I'll choose Base here and that's going to send some ETH over the Base network into my wallet. And then I can use that to pay for gas in my Coinbase wallet for the swap. Now that we have the gas coin in our wallet, we can trade any other token on that network and pay for the transaction fee. So choose the blockchain that you want to swap on. I'll choose BNB as an example. And we can see the from asset. So if you click this, it's going to give you the token that you want to swap from. Now I'm using BNB here, but as long as you have that for gas, you can use any token that you have in your wallet. The second thing is we need to choose the asset that we want to trade into. So we're selling the coin on the left and we're buying the coin on the right. So I'll click choose asset. From here, there's a list of popular assets on this chain. But what you can do is press search and search for the name of the coin. So you'll see here USDC is actually verified. That means it's a big token that the Coinbase wallet team knows of and they've made it OK. There's unverified tokens down below this. It doesn't mean that these are scams. It just means that there may be small or unknown tokens. So just be sure that you know the tokens that you want to swap to. I'll press USDC here. What you can see down here as well is that this is USDC on BNB chain because you can see the BNB icon next to the USDC icon here. So you know which chain it's on. From here, we can choose an amount to swap. So I'll just press five in dollars so you can do that. Or you can choose the amount of the token that you wanna swap, press the reverse icon just right of that. And you can choose an amount of that coin that you wanna swap. It's easier just to do it in dollar terms though. So I'm gonna swap $5. So what we're doing here is swapping $5 worth of the coin on the left, which is BNB to you know, whatever that would be on the coin on the right. So I'm going to press find the best price. From here, what Coinbase Wallet does is you can see best price out of 23 sources. So it's scanning all of the decentralized exchanges and it's trying to get you the best price. Now, you don't really know what you're using. It doesn't tell you which service you're using here. So you just have to trust them that you're, that you're getting a decent swap. USDC contract right here is the coin that you're swapping into. Slippage tolerance. If you click the icon on the right hand side of that, you can change this. Slippage is the difference between the price quote that you're given when you swap and the actual price that is traded. There's going to be a slight difference here or there could be. In terms of slippage, if you're using very small coins, then you might get a lot of slippage. If you're trading very big coins like layer one coins and stable coins, you're not going to get much slippage at all. I'm going to put slippage down to 1% here because that's enough for a trade like this. And I don't want to trade with a lot of slippage. Now, what happens if the trade that you do and you have a slippage tolerance of 1%, but your slippage, right, would be like 3%. Well, the trade would actually cancel out because what you're saying is here, I'm OK with 1% slippage, but I'm not OK with 3. So cancel the transaction. Then you can see the Coinbase fee is free. So they're not, they're not charging any extra here, but the network fee, and this is paid in BNB, this has to be paid in BNB, is 44 cents. Coinbase aren't charging you that, it's the blockchain fee. So I'm gonna trade this $5 of BNB into $5 of USDC. I'll press swap, um, and then that goes through to swap. So we don't actually know where it's swapped, but 
that's pretty much happened. Uh, so I'll press done, so it's really quick. And now I've got those two assets, right? I've got the BNB that I swapped and I've got the secondary asset that I just bought. You can also use any other decentralized exchange within Coinbase Wallet if for some reason the swap feature can't find the tokens or has an issue. Come down to the browser tab in the middle. From here, go to the top dApps and then click swap. Then I'm just gonna scroll down to one that I would use, so one inch. This is an exchange aggregator, which means it's gonna search for the best trade. And you can just link your wallet up here. So I'm in the one inch app. Up at the top, I can click any of the supported networks. So I'll just click BNB chain because I have uh, some balance here. And in the bottom right hand corner, you can see my wallet is uh, in this app. So it's connected and it's reading my balance. So I'll click the token that I have, which is BNB. You can see I've got a balance here and then you can receive any other token and you can swap that very easily. So you're actually linking your wallet up to any other exchange. You can check the exchange rates between Coinbase Swap and something like One Inch, which is an exchange aggregator to see where you're gonna get the best trade. I'll leave full video tutorials for other exchanges and Coinbase Wallet down in the description below. I'm James with Manzy G, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.